In this video, we will be explaining the installation and setup of the OptiPeer BWS 35050 reverse osmosis system. When the systems are shipped to job locations, they come on a pallet with the complete system already shrink wrapped, ready to go for loading and delivery to the job site. This is what the system looks like once unpacked. The 50 gallon storage tank, which includes the delivery pump and buffer tank. In the two boxes below is the reverse osmosis processor. And in the small box is the post water filter system. The system is completely packed, ready to go for easy setup and installation to get your measurements for the system to be mounted directly to the wall location. Also comes with plugs for the filters and membrane, which are easily removed. All set and ready for installation. The system then can be mounted on the wall and leveled and in position. All of the points of connection are clearly marked as well as the filters so everything corresponds with the inserts for connection and fittings, all a part of the setup and process. Here is connecting the feed water to the reverse osmosis system. Making the connections as outlined in the step-by-step -step owner's manual, which shows clearly pictures of all the hoses, connections for the system to be installed properly. Here shows the drain line from the reverse osmosis, the water coming from the tank to the RO system, and the optimized water line. Now we're installing the post treatment system. Easy quick connect applications and then connecting to the output water which goes to the espresso, coffee and ice machine as indicated. The filters are quick change which actually turn right in and turn to the right. That includes the reverse osmosis membrane with the flow control. cap comes off, quarter turn to the right, in place and locks in. All the filters go in the same way and they're set up for easy service and maintenance as required. We also have a test port on the right side which is used as a fill station and also for testing water. Now we put the service in a system bypass open up the sample port and we flush the system to remove any air or particles. Then we do a pre-fill on the tank of about a quarter of a tank and then the system is put into service. We pull the blue line off. The pressure will increase means this is making water. The system also comes with the TDS meter which monitors the incoming water from the reverse osmosis and the optimized water. So the in is optimized water, the out is membrane output to set the proper blend. The blending valve as located can either increase or decrease based on the proper setting. We then measure the permeate or the production of the system in ounces to make sure production is meeting specifications as well as the concentrate or the drain, which comes from the reject water. We also can adjust the flow control to make sure the proper settings are set so the system can perform at its optimal level. The flow control is located right behind the first CTOQ filter on the back side. It's a gold valve with a screwdriver slot for adjustment. Please call with any questions on the proper setting for flow into the system, as well as concentrate or reject water out of the system. 
For changing filters, it's easy to turn the system to bypass, quick change the filter out, new filter goes back in, quick change to the right. That's done for all the CTO cues, as well as the membrane when needed, and the MAQ15 cartridge, which is the mineral addition. The brine line or the concentrate line from the membrane is where the reject water flows. The post filter, once again, turn the valve off, quick change out, new one goes back up in, and quick change to the right. The system then goes back to the service position, the pressure increases, and now the system is back in operation, filling the 50 gallon tank. With any additional questions, feel free to call the Clean Water Guys at 800-727-0707.